Hello scrappers and planet lovers, Tin Man here with another video. So kind of an interesting video today, an interesting find. I was out back of some businesses the other day, did a little dumpster dive, and lo and behold, I ended up finding this old style uh, cash register. It doesn't work, um, and I decided to bring it home, see what's inside of it. Um, as I said, never done one before. I did hear a little bit of jingle jangle when I was uh, putting it into my truck. I ended up prying it open because I misplaced the key. And lo and behold, I did find a toonie on the bottom as well as a couple money rolls that were empty. But uh, great find, obviously, scoring with cash. I'm gonna open this up, uh, see what's inside, see if I can make more money separating the items. The nice thing about this cash register, it is heavy. It's actually 35 pounds. There is a lot of tin on this, so I could get tin price for a lot of this, or I could actually leave it as is and get electronic weight price, which is about five to six cents a pound. So almost made as much from the cash that I will from the scrap, but definitely a good item to be able to divert from the landfill. So gonna open it up, as I said, talk about some of the items and see what we have. Uh, the first thing, as I mentioned, I did misplace the key. But keys are definitely a good source of brass. Um, the old ones are obviously R2 styles. You're always gonna get some that are the metallic look. You get your traditional ones that are the brass look, as you can see here. This is brass. This one, unfortunately, um, that I got off of a different uh, key, as you can see, it is magnetic. So this one is not brass, but you definitely wanna check, as I said, some of them, you can see this one is heavily worn here. Uh, you can see it reveals the brass underneath. And again, quick test, the magnet does not stick. So there can be brass, obviously, with keys. Don't pass those up. This, as I mentioned, I did have to pry this open. Some tin here. Uh, and this tin right here is going to go for about seven cents a pound uh, in Sarnia. In London, Ontario, this is, tin is actually going for 14 cents a pound. So, depends on where you are. Price is definitely different. Um, put this toonie away before I lose it. Inside, you've got your retractable case. And as I said, I did have to remove the bottom. You can see the bottom underneath here. This was just uh, secured with, sorry, with a couple screws. I'm just gonna move this out of the way. Okay, so a nice, heavy, thick piece of tin here, again. Uh, and the nice thing about tin, too, is that it does not take a lot to build up weight. As you can see how thin that is, uh, I've got a load started in my truck right now. I can easily just fit that in. But this right here weighs a good three, four pounds of tin. Okay, as I said underneath, this I did unfortunately break when I pried it open, but here's your little money box here. Uh, it does have a small little break, but I have actually used these before. I could even bring this to school for my JK classes. They can use this for their uh, paper money or fake money. So definitely better than going into the uh, landfill, this uh, plastic here. Um, this here obviously is a nice heavy drawer. Just slides out. So again, some nice tin on that. You do want to check your metals. As I said, this, if it's magnetic, it's going to be tin. So again, nice heavy piece as well. Turning this upside down, I do have right here a little bell. You can hear the bell. There is a small little copper motor here that I'm going to get. Um, this bell I do want to check because it does have the nice brass look to it. And it is not magnetic. So it could very well be brass, and I think it is. So I am going to take that off uh, afterwards or soon. Um, the motor, as I said, does have some copper inside of that as well. So I definitely want to take that as well. The rest of this shell is going to be tin, okay? But again, that bell is brass. Um, I see a couple of screws here, and I'm just going to try and get as many screws as I can. Hopefully some things are going to start falling off. Um, but this also has a nice cord that was still attached to it that gives it the power. Uh, and I am gonna just cut that right now. So this cord, a nice appliance cord here. 
So I look inside, this cord is going to be classified as 40% appliance weight or appliance cord. Um, so right now this is actually going for $1.25 a pound in London, Ontario. It does have some nice brass prongs. Some people will take them off as I do and put this into my brass. Brass right now is going for about $3.50 a pound. Some people will leave these on for the weight. Um, and I do want to mention the reason this is classified as 40% appliance uh, wire is because a scrapyard will look at plastic to copper ratio and copper recovery when they look at wire. Inside you can see there are three strands of copper that are individually coated and it has an outer coating of plastic as well. Because there is more plastic on here, less copper, it is a lower value. So at 40% appliance wire, this is going for about $1.20, $1.25 a pound. If this had just those three strands in there that did not have an outer coating, that would make it more copper, less plastic, and would be 60% appliance price. And that actually is going for about $2.12 a pound. So both are an excellent price, uh, but you do want to make sure you separate it. So again, this is probably a pound and a bit. This is a nice long cord, very heavy. So again, 40% appliance wire here. All right, inside, like I said, all of these screws that I'm taking apart, not sure what they're leading to, but they are going to go into my tin. The springs are, are also going to go into because they are magnetic as well. Going to go into my tin. Uh, on the top here, there are a couple things. I actually dropped the plastic casing. Reach across. So this is obviously where the paper comes out, the receipts come out. Uh, this is plastic, so unfortunately this is going to go into the garbage. And I did have someone mention on one of my videos that uh, in New Brunswick especially, uh, scrapyards will take plastic. Uh, I released a video on vacuum cleaners and I said that I had 117 pounds of plastic from my 13 vacuum cleaner breakdown. And interestingly, they said that they get paid um, uh, uh, tin or shred price for that plastic as well. I had to uh, inquire with my scrap yards. I know that it is acceptable if we have some tin on plastic, but there is no category here in Southwestern Ontario just for plastic. So that is unfortunate, uh, but hey, in New Brunswick, if they can take the plastic and you can divert that from the landfill and get paid for it, awesome. I wish the other provinces would follow suit because that would be a lot of uh, plastic diverted from the landfill. So here, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to take this and throw it in the garbage. Okay, there is right up here a little bit more tin, some screws, uh, and I really wish that I still had the key here because there are a couple spots on here that definitely would probably open up. There's a keyhole here. Uh, I can see obviously right in here there is some heavy tin, so there's probably going to be a nice copper uh, motor. Um, that uh, runs this gear. Um, I am just gonna quickly, I see a couple anchor screws. I'm gonna see if I can pry this up. But either way, the nice thing is I'm already looking at a lot of nice tin in here. Uh, but I am just curious, these kind of circuit boards, if I'm gonna find a, a silver, silver uh, or mylar board, uh, if I'm gonna find any gold on the circuit boards, especially given this age, um, how heavily coated with dust this is, uh, how tarnished it looks or uh, yellowed. I'm hoping that it's an older style model, so we'll see. But just gonna take this last anchor screw out. Okay, so here again, here's some more cord and I'm just gonna cut this to open it. But there we go, I can see right there, there is a nice copper motor and these little copper motors I will not actually open I will leave as is uh, I have a big bag of them like this um, I just bring them in as is and I will get um, copper berry motor price so little ones like that um, and I'm gonna get about 15 to 25 cents for these I can see right here a little mylar board so just gonna open this up a little bit look at this um, circuit board that I have See what I can find on there, if there's any other precious metals. But again, just a nice little motor apparatus. On the bottom, there's actually nothing else in there. 
Uh, but uh, I'm looking, the next one I'm going to look at is this control panel. A lot of your push button apparatuses um, like um, these, uh, your push on your microwaves, those little buttons there, they always have nice little um, mallard boards. Okay, so um, there it is, my circuit board. I might just actually have to just try and pop it out, see what happens here. Where is it connected? I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna put my safety glasses on, but I'm gonna just try. There. Okay, and it's okay because this is all going to the garbage anyway, or sorry, into the not garbage, the scrap yard anyway, as is. Uh, but a little circuit board. This is the little mallard board that I'm talking about. This little ticker tape. You can see all of those lines are actually a little bit of silver. So a little bit of silver recovery here. Um, I will take these, uh, but the rest of this circuit board, there's nothing on here. Uh, there's no precious metals. And the nice thing for me is I can actually bring this in as is. Just gonna check the prongs to make sure. Uh, they might be brass. Just gonna just scratch that. Sometimes they will be a little bit of tin. These ones are brass. You can see there is some brass coming off of that. I just wanted to make sure I checked because sometimes your circuit boards are going to have nice gold plated prongs, but this one did not. Um, but the rest of this circuit board, I can break it because I will only get about five cents a pound for it, regardless of the precious metals that are on here. Some scrap yards will give you low grade, medium grade, high grade, depending on what's on it. If it's gold, uh, obviously higher value. Um, so you definitely want to check with your scrap yards. But again, here I don't get much. So I can break these. If there was copper on here, I would definitely take it off and other items. But this actually, other than your motor, this is just a nice solid thing. I'm just gonna throw into my tin. Okay, some more tin. And all I'm gonna do to open this, I'm gonna just try and put a knife under this um, and put some safety glasses on for sure. But I'm just gonna try and slide a knife under. There is my circuit board. I'm hoping I can get to all these buttons. Look at these kind of cool things here. Um, I might actually just try and hit this with a hammer as well, but I don't see a circuit board, mallard board on there, but. Just curious here. Okay, push that up underneath. All right, so I'm gonna try and reach it from the bottom. This is interesting, this stuff here. Uh, I've had a lot of people, oh, look at that. The cord still goes on, so there's a little bit more cord here. Um, but underneath here is another steel plate. I can see a couple circuit boards right there. So hopefully just open this panel up. And this board here or wire here you see, this is actually copper. Um, it, you can see a lot of times it will be attached to screws um, and a lot of people will pass this up, but I've already cut it on purpose. You can see inside of there a little hint of copper. If I scratch it, which I'm gonna do, there you go. You can see the copper there. So this is just gonna give me number two copper. So a lot of circuit boards, you do wanna check for that. Uh, don't pass that up. Number two copper right now is going for $4.43 a pound in London, Ontario. So definitely a good price. Um, I don't know if I can have to break this open, but I do see some bolts here. Just gonna try opening this, putting a screwdriver under it. I don't think it's gonna reach. I think I'm gonna have to do a little bit more work off camera. Oh, there we go. See if I can just break this. There we go. So another sheet. Getting closer to the plastic there, but we'll see right now if this is another piece of tin. I want to get this wire. All of these individual wires here are also going to be, these are going to be the 60% appliance wire because it's only one thing of wire, one coating of plastic. So I definitely want to get those off. Uh, I do actually also cut off these brass prongs. I will put these brass prongs into my um, brass recovery bin. 
Uh, some people will just throw it all into their wire. Okay, but you definitely have to make sure you get the screw off. But yeah, so these headings are brass. So I just cut right at the tip here. This will be my 60% appliance wire and I will take brass from that at $3.50 a pound. All right. Gonna see, this looks like it's all one big piece. Get these last few screws. I'm hoping in this plastic top comes off with a little bit of effort. There we go. Oh, look at that. I'm excited now. So here is a little bit of a circuit board, but this has a beautiful transformer here. This transformer is gonna have some really nice number two copper in it. And I do have some videos on transformers, uh, how to open them. So I will include in my description the link to that video as well. This circuit board also has a really nice copper spool here that I'm gonna take off. I see some MLCCs uh, or ceramic capacitors right here, um, some brass connectors. These brass connectors right here that you see, this is gonna give me number two uh, copper as well. So I do take these off and I am actually gonna keep this circuit board for an upcoming video uh, for uh, uh, some of my subscribers and viewers have asked to do some more micro scrapping on circuit boards. So I'm gonna use this purposely, but again, I'm gonna take this copper off of here and here, because if I was to just bring this circuit board in as is, I'm only gonna get five cents a pound. And this copper, as I said, number two copper at $4.43 a pound. And these prongs, just to nail my point home, these prongs, I have a big bin right here of just those prongs there. Nine and a half pounds right there of just those prongs. So they definitely add up. And at $4.43 a pound, I'm gonna make a lot more from that copper than I would from this circuit board from the weight. So looking forward to opening up this uh, transformer, getting that beautiful number two copper out of here. I do have some really nice 60% appliance wire here that I'm gonna take. A little bit of plastic here, but other than that, this cash register, I would love to find more of them because uh, some great items. And inside of this one too, a lot of screws obviously to take off of here but I am gonna also get the circuit board out of that and I will get e-waste price for that. Not gonna be any precious metals on here, maybe a little bit of silver from each one of these buttons. They kind of look like this, if you will. Uh, and in my opinion, these little buttons here that you see, they have a small amount of silver, but not worth enough for me to open. So I will just leave them as is and get the five cents a pound for e-waste. Um, the little circuit board here that has the money symbol on it, or the it'll have the weight and the tear. All of this is gonna go into my e-waste um, and get this wire, obviously, for my 60% appliance wire. Uh, last thing I do wanna make sure I mention is when I have wire like this, uh, I do wanna make sure I check inside, especially with electronics. Some of your wire, if it has um, like a black cable around it, and you notice inside there is um, the wires like this with copper and then a metallic uh, coating around it. That is electronic wire and there is a separate category for that. This does not have that obviously. They're all individual strands. So these are all copper. I do always wanna make sure I pull off my little zip ties, cut them off. As well, the heading here I will take off because some scrap yards will downgrade you to 40% if it has a lot of plastic, you'll see definitely different headings. So what I do with these is I will cut these off and I will actually put these into an, uh, a separate bucket and I will get dirty brass price for this at about 17 to 18 cents a pound. So um, it does add up, but I definitely don't wanna mix this with all of my 60% appliance wire just for them to start looking through it and downgrading the whole bag because of a couple things like this. So I do that. Um, make sure I separate it as I go along because it definitely can be time consuming if you wait till the end as I did a few years ago. But some really nice 60% wire, a beautiful, beautiful bunch of tin. So this is now just going to give me a uh, tin price once I take that bell off and this motor. But I will have probably about 25 pounds of tin still here. I've got some really nice copper 
Um, this transformer, once I open it, the shell of that transformer is still gonna give me tin price as well. So very little waste here, just a small plastic. Uh, as I said, I do have some tin over here too. I'm gonna bring this to school and give it to one of my teachers for their uh, math manipulatives. Uh, and, and again, an interesting find, getting that money, that toonie out of there, definitely worth it, and gonna make a few bucks scrapping this. So you never know what you're gonna find in dumpsters, uh, never know what you're gonna find, uh, even garbage day, house to house. So I uh, love the adventure, love the support. Um, thank you for the continued questions and comments I've received. Look forward to growing again this upcoming 2023 year. A happy new year to everyone. Wish all love, peace, and joy. Um, please comment down below, like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Tin Man out.